Sorry guys, there's not going to be any flying in this episode. I apologize in advance. If you don't want to watch, here's the remote. Go ahead and click over. I wouldn't blame you. I'm just kidding! Please don't leave me! Please don't go! Please don't go! I swear! Okay, okay, uh, here's the clip of me flying! Here's the clip of me flying! Are you happy now? What up everybody, Brian Monette here, back with another exciting vlog, yes! This one's a little different, it's not the regular hop into the private jet and go flying around, nah, not today. Today, I want to talk about where I started, where I came from, where I took my first flying lesson. give you a nice quick rundown on exactly what this place is, why I'm here, and why I felt the need to film today. This place is called Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. As you can see from right here, the sign, show the sign, show the sign, show the sign! There it is, there it is, Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. This museum is based at Compton Woodley Airport, right in the heart of Southern California, right in the heart of Los Angeles. Now this airport has been here way long before I was even thought of, probably way before you were even thought of. This, air, this airport has actually been established here since. Now this facility is a sightseeing tour company, it's a flight school, and it's also an after school program for minorities, for the youth in general. Um, when I actually started here, I was 18 years old, fresh out of high school. Actually, no, I was still in high school, so we actually got to come here to the Compton Airport during a, uh, I guess you would call it a field trip. Uh, during my senior year in high school and I at the time I, I, I always was fascinated in flying however I wasn't necessarily uh, in, intrigued by actually making it a career because of the events of September 11th now we know about that and exactly what happened right there so you can imagine from a pilot's perspective or a wannabe pilot's perspective it's kind of a, a turnoff to, to, to see you know these tragic events happen and as far as I was concerned the golden age of aviation was over with at that point because you know a lot of things have changed since then and I didn't think that flying was the safest thing to do anymore when we came here to the Compton Airport um, the founder of this place Robin Petgrave he actually took us on a ride in his helicopter, you know, about a five, 10 minute helicopter ride each each person. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. This is the, the, the best freaking thing ever. I've always been interested in airplanes since I was like three years old. But to actually go up in a helicopter was a life changer for me. To actually see the pilot of the helicopter at the controls, manipulating the helicopter, making it fly the way it's supposed to, that was impressive to me. That was amazing, and I was like, I want to do this. Now, I did not become a helicopter pilot, mind you, because I was always interested in airplanes. After school, I would go to the Compton Airport nearly every single day to work uh, in the in the cafe, or sweeping, or cleaning the computers, or you know, doing whatever, answering the phones. I, I was I was literally there. I was I was pretty much a staff member, and what I was earning in return for my services was credits towards flight time, real legitimate flight time. And I used that to my advantage because I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but growing up, I didn't know how to get there. So I found a way to do it. So of course I persevered and I made it happen. And it wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for this program right here because I, if I hadn't found this program, I probably, I probably wouldn't even be a pilot today. Now I'm flying private jets and I literally started just from practically nothing. So today is the Compton Woodley Airfare, you know, 2018. And I figured I'd come down and show my support um, and also film this video. And not just for 
you guys, but also for myself, because I feel I feel really good coming back to this place because it's where I started. You know, it, it, this is pretty much my roots right here. I, I've been in Compton since I was four years old, and I I always remember where I came from. So it's always good to just come back, you know, help out and and give back. So if you're a local, check the place out. Tell them Brian sent you. Um, if you're aspiring to be a pilot or something like that, they do offer flying lessons here. They, it is a flight school, like I said. All right, so enough of that. I'm actually gonna get back to having some fun. What's up everybody, how y'all doing? Mr. Now, now Mr. Brian actually knows how to fly a plane. Oh, so please, please, just, just call me Brian, please. Brian, no, <laughs> no, for these young men, you're Mr. Brian. Okay. What? These young men. So, I came back here after school every day and just, you know, work, help around, clean and stuff like that. How hard is it to learn how to fly? It's, it's not really hard at all. It's more, of the, it's more of the book work and the rules and regulations. So what are you guys doing right here? Drawing airplanes? Oh, nice. Yeah, I used to draw airplanes all the time. There's a man with a plan. How you doing? What you doing? Man, I'm just uh, hanging out. <laughs> this is the guy who started it all right here, Robin Peck Ray. Yeah, but proof positive this shit. I mean, this stuff works. <laughs> great concept. We I'll, highly I'll support the youth in this community and giving back. It's, it's some dope shit, huh? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good man, Mike Anthony. Oh, yeah, I know you. Yeah. You took me flying before. Yeah. All right, you got your plane here today? Yeah. So, you gonna pick me up, right? He's the boss. He owns the airplane. Plane. People don't go up yeah. unless. Yeah. Not. Bottom all. Can, can I tell him? Can I tell him what else you You bought you a plane. You tell him what else you And a bottle of white guy. A bottle of white guy. You bought a white? Bought a white guy. You are moving up, man. You know how to boost your credit score up to like 150, right? I'm sorry, you better tell me. And so Brian put in the work. He had his private pilot's license before the end of the summer, and right. now he was instructing, or he was teaching and flying. Not teaching. He was doing the sightseeing flights. He has a commercial pilot. Yeah, baby. And then now he's flying. Ooh, I love fly a lot of stuff. Challenger 300, Lear 60, CJ2. Pretty soon, probably a triple seven. So we'll see. Now, so he's here, and he also does a lot, a lot of uh, social media stuff. Uh, very talented camera person, editor. Too talented of an editor. He got in trouble here a bunch of times. Oh god! Because he did some shit that we we're like, did that just happen? <laughs> did he just blow up one of our airplanes? YouTube.com/slash for flights sake. So, Write it down. So Brian, you know, check it out. I don't have a lot of followers, but my followers have a lot of followers, like Lily Ponds. 20 million followers, so all oh, yeah. of just heard that. Yeah, gotcha. Hello. See that? He's got me working already. Okay. Man, this place is a mess. What the hell? Oh, nothing's changed as far as the mess in the office. All right, he wants that on his desk. Bam! That's proof that I did my job. All right, let me see if I can find it. Uh, ah! There it is, guys. Brian Monette with braids. Ah. Way different back then. Okay, so you got to meet Robin. You got to see what this place is kind of all about. But there's still a lot more to show. Let me show you what this place looks like.
work in this place is incredible. Like, it, it's changed a lot since I've been here back in 2003. Back then, this used to be a big, huge pile of trash. Like, scrap metal, boxes, crates, um, appliances, you name it, there was a big pile of it. And me and my friends, we actually built a clubhouse inside of all that rubbish and we had a whole bunch of stuff. We had a PlayStation 2 up in there. We had we had a little electric stove. We had chairs. We had a, of course we had a TV because we had played the PS2 on there. We had a lot of stuff. It was freaking crazy. Times have freaking changed but I wouldn't say it changed for the worse. It changed for the better because this is incredible. This is a huge freaking place. It's funny when you realize how much space this hangar actually has when all that junk is out of here. You can fit some of the jets I fly up in here. This is the exact airplane that I got my commercial pilot license in back in 2007. Uh, June 22nd, 2007 to be exact, if I remember correctly. Um, this airplane brings back a lot of memories because when, after I got hired by Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum, I actually used to fly sightseeing tours in this airplane right here. Alongside with another airplane, which isn't here anymore, um, it used to be with us. But talk about some good times, man. I used to fly these airplanes right here in the heart of Los Angeles and took people on, you know, pretty cool sightseeing tours to see, to see the city, to see the mountains, to see the beaches. And I kid you not, one time somebody proposed in the backseat of the plane while I was flying. He didn't tell me it was gonna happen. He didn't tell her it was gonna happen. I guess he didn't want me to spoil the surprise. But it was so cool. Like, to, they might be still married today. Or, or or they might be divorced. I, I hope not. But yeah, that's my story of this airplane. Alright you guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. I appreciate you watching it. This is the 2018 Compton, California annual airfare. And this is my experience. And this is the place where I started. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And my final message is this. It doesn't matter where you come from. Whether it's Compton, California. Whether it's New York. Whether it's Atlanta. Whether it's some little tiny city in the, or village in the middle of nowhere. Just know that if you believe in yourself and you actually persevere and do a little research and networking, you can get anywhere you want to freaking be, okay? Believe that, trust me, it can happen. Happen for me, it can happen for you as well. I'm out of here, peace! Ah, that freaking hurt!